Once you pass the bridges, the river takes on a very different feel. This is my favourite part of the whole of this river. Absolutely stunning. It's not very easy tacking a 18th century logger. One of the things that this little boat has taught me is to just slow down the, the, the sort of pace of life, you know, actually take time to really enjoy the surroundings. Um, you know, in our sort of hectic world, we don't really pause. Uh, we go from one project, one thing to the next. It's lovely to be on a wooden boat like this. Everything's constantly changing. There's a part of me that just actually loves being out here on my own, you know, in these little places, sort of almost miles away from anywhere. And uh, it's so peaceful and quiet. You just, you know, a wooden boat, a couple of sails, you know, you can really venture really quite far in this form of travel. I really love it out here. It's so different from being on the ocean when you come up these rivers. There you've got crashing waves and you know, really struggling against that, that wind and current. And yet here we are amongst these reeds, we're completely sheltered. So sometimes when you're trying to get up these rivers, there's no option. The wind is all over the place. You've just got to drop the sails, put your back into it with some oars. Of course, this boat's not really designed for one person to row. We're not going to break any records. We've got a, a couple of canoeists coming up behind us. They're probably going to overtake us in a minute. But they must be thinking, what's that crazy guy rowing that huge great boat on his own for? Huge, you know, populations grew up because of the, the wealth that was generated from the mines down here and the jobs that they created. So we've probably only got a few minutes before the tide's going to start to flow back down the river and we're going to need to make sure that we're ready to catch that on the way back down. Oh, the light is just absolutely amazing. So we're just drifting down. We've got the last of this northerly breeze carrying us back down the Tamar. So having spent the last two days navigating this river and really getting to understand its little intricacies, it's really shaped much of the inhabitants here, the jobs, the prospects of so many people. Now we're heading back down. I can just see the Tamar Bridge uh, on the horizon there and the dockyard just coming into view so another few more hours we'll just drift down with the tide and we'll be back at home. Sailing a traditional boat on these rivers has really helped me to understand just how much our waterways have shaped our history.
It's all too easy to think about the big round the world exploratory voyages that Captain James Cook and Robert Fitzroy undertook. But around the UK, every river, estuary and harbour has made its own unique contribution to our prosperity, our way of life and our understanding of the world.